happy morning students welcome to grade 6 english class today we are going to have a revision for our upcoming early examination children this is our part 3 session for the revision of our early examination part 1 we have practiced about the prose for the early examination and then part 2 is fully about the poem and then this part 3 consists of supplementary a pack with the sun from unit 7 there is a from lesson 7 to lesson 10 as the portion for our early examination now let's start the revision for the supplementary the wonder called sleep this is our seventh supplementary children the wonder called sleep this lesson that is this story we can say that revels the role sleep and dreams play in our life that's the title the wonder called sleep this lesson children though we are not aware of the reason for sleep we all know what it is it is a state of unconscious rest our body heals itself from days fatigue and feels refreshed after a good sleep we get ready for the normal activities of the day after having it once we wake up we are unable to recollect the happenings while we were asleep we may recollect a dream but other than that sleep denotes a darkness in which nothing seemed to have happened many things occur to our body during sleep our muscles get relaxed heart beat gets slower and blood pressure of the body falls down even the activities of the brain get slower to stop us from thinking and acting the moment we wake up the temperature of our body and blood pressure get normal other phenomena like heart beat and breathing also get normal and we forget most of the dreams if not all dream is nothing but an activity of the mind during sleep some dreams are possible while some are not some dreams can be realistic dreams are important for several reasons they help us sleep through any noise or disturbance too when we are asleep and the alarm bell rings we dream that the telephone bell or the doorbell is ringing and we are awake and we go to answer it some doctors say that a dream throw light upon one's problems and sometimes the solutions are also hidden in the dreams but although dreams may reveal problems they just can't predict our future sleep is a phenomenon that happens to everyone all of us experience it but hardly any of us is able to think and talk about its power many poets have written poems on sleep like the following look at the poem children lights out i have come to the borders of sleep the unfathomable dim forest where all must lose their way however straight or winding soon or late they cannot choose there is not any book or face of dearest look that i would not turn from now to go into the unknown i must enter and live alone i know not how edward thomas children now let's recall again the summary of the supplementary the wonder called sleep sleep has its own role to make one feel refreshed sleep is termed as the unconscious state of rest 
a good sleep gives us rest and calms down our mind and body after a day's tight activities our body recovers from all the fat through sleep a series of things happen to use during sleep during sleep we dream muscles are relaxed brain feels refreshed heart beat becomes slower blood pressure and temperature of our body fall down dreams are an important activity of the mind during sleep they revent our mind they are important because they help us to sleep doctors say that they reveal much about the problems we are facing and also provide solutions to concerned issues but the thing to keep in mind is that dreams cannot tell our future through they recover our body and mind from fat they take us away from all the disturbance yet they just can't tell us our future sleep has a magical power as it takes us into a strange world it is the pleasant and most common experience for all now look at the question answer for the supplementary the wonder called sleep look at the first question children what is the most obvious advantage of sleep lesson children the most obvious advantage of sleep is that it makes our body and mind relaxed so what is the answer for that there is a most obvious advantage of sleep means it makes the sleep makes our body and mind relaxed this is the answer for the first question that is it makes our body and mind be relaxed look at the next question what happens to our body when we sleep listen carefully children it goes to an unconscious state of rest body recovers itself from all the fat because all the phenomena like temperature respiration blood pressure and brain get slower during sleep look at the next one define a dream in your own words you can write by your own children that is what you mean by a dream a dream is nothing but an activity of the brain during sleep so again listen children that is what you mean by dream means a dream is nothing but an activity of the brain it is an that is a dream is an activity of the brain during sleep the time takes place the dream is during sleep dream is nothing but an activity of the brain during sleep now look at the fourth question children why are dreams important mention two reasons that is why dreams are important and then you have to mention two reasons for that that is they are important because they take us to sleep easily in spite of all the disturbance and they reveal many problems a person is going through in his walking life that is them and sometimes can figure out the solutions as well so dream is very important children and then you can look at this two reasons that is important because they take us to sleep easily in spite of all the disturbance that is in spite of all the disturbance it uh, there is a sleep uh, easily in spite of all the disturbance and there are even many problems a person is going through in his working life and sometimes can figure out the solution as well now look at the fifth question children why has sleep been called a wonder it is an important question children that is a why sleep is called as a wonder it has been called so there is a sleep can be called as a wonder because of its healing ability because of its healing ability and the power to make one feel refreshed and relaxed again listen children it has been there is a sleep has been called because of its healing ability there is a of healing ability and the power to make one feel refreshed and relaxed now look at the next question children that is a describe briefly to the class an improbable dream 
you have ever had this you have to discuss along with your friends now look at the next lesson children a pack with the sun a pack with the sun is our eighth supplementary a lesson carefully children this story that is a pack with the sun shows the healing power of nature and its importance it revolves around a girl whose mother was sick and her prayers to the sun help her mother recover from her illness this story revolves around a girl saida whose mother was suffering from fever body pain cough and joint pain etc for a long time she was not getting the right treatment she was denied normal food sunlight and fresh air despite trying varied treatments her illness was replacing then she consulted a specialist for her treatment who examined her and suggested some effective medicines the specialist also told her to sit in the sunlight daily she then moved her bed to a bigger room to get more sunlight but somehow for a few days the sun did not appear and it remained cloudy saida prayed to the rays of the sun to become the next morning as her mother needed the warmth of the sun to get well the sun rays agreed and promised to help her next morning the sun rays made way through the clouds to give sunlight to saida's mother in the end saida's mother recovered by taking a good amount of sunlight and fresh air now let's recall the story children that is a pack with the sun in the story there's a girl named saida Saida's mother was not well for a long period of time and had not received proper medical treatment for her complaints. She had been treated by various doctors but her improvement was temporary and sickness was replacing. She was denied healthy food, sunshine and fresh air. gradually she was closed into a small dark and dirty room where windows were closed and no sunshine reached there when her condition worsened her near and dear ones asked her to consult a specialist without caring for his high fees life is more precious than anything else though saida's mother was poor she paid attention to their words she sold her jewelry to pay the doctor's fees and cost of medicine the doctor checked her and gave her good medicine he also advised her to take a good diet and leave the dark room and live in a bigger room with windows and doors take sunlight and fresh air everyone in the room started commenting on the doctor's advice some were speaking in support of it and others were opposing it an experienced lady objected to expose exposure of the sun for her being suffering from severe cough 
One neighbor started fighting. Saida's mother was not into a position to be a part of all that, so she kept quiet. Finally, she said that whatever the result might be, she was determined to follow the doctor's words. So, her bed should be moved into the next room and she should be permitted to sit in the sun for an hour daily. But now, the sky was overcast by clouds for a few days. She whispered in her mouth and asked God where had he hidden the sun. Shaida was playing near her mother and she heard her words. Afterwards, when she was about to fall in the country yard, she noticed dim sunlight and ran to her mother to ask her to be there. But everyone stopped her as it was a late evening and it was cold. Disheartened, Saida went back to her doll. The moment he woke up, the temperature of her body and blood pressure get normal. Other phenomena like heartbeat and breathing also get normal and we forget most of the dreams if not all. The children have a special communication language in which they talk to trees, flowers, animals, the sun and the moon and even God. Using that special language, Saida prayed to the rays of the sun to come tomorrow with greater warmth and brightness as her mother was ill and she needed their help. The light rays of the sun replied to her prayer and assured her that they would come at the fixed time and asked her not to be unhappy. By the next day, when bright energetic sun rays got ready to come to the earth, the sun said that they would not go to the earth as the way to the earth had been blocked by the clouds. Hearing this, the rays kept quiet for some time, but one of them spoke to their father, the sun, that they had made a pact with Saida as she had promised to her. Her mother was not well and she needed the Yahal, so she would pass through the clouds to reach Saida's country yard. Otherwise, how could her mother be cured? To this, all the rays stood against the sun. They argued that if they stayed back, the people of the earth would consider them as layers. The sun was a little softened and told them that the clouds were very heavy, so they must control themselves. He even asked them, to take care of their clothes. The rays rushed towards the earth, saying that they didn't mind their clothes, as they could always change them. The clouds stopped their way. The little rays focused their heat, which was enough to make the clothes flee from there. The rays reached the earth, leaving behind the puzzled clouds. Finally, Saida noticed them reaching and jumped with joy. She called her mother informing that the son was there. The old lady was in tears of gratitude. Her bed was placed in the sun where she sat for an hour leaning against pillows. It was after months that she was able to feel the sun and breathe fresh air. She felt as if she had entered a new world. Though she appeared weak, her face and eyes showed the shine of hope. She looked at her child, also basking in the sun, and kissed her. With this, 
new morning came a new hope a new fragrance chanting of birds and with all this saida's mother felt better and she recovered completely from her illness now look at the question answer children that is a book back exercise look at the first question from this lesson that is a pack with the sun what did the physician ask saida's mother to do to get well did they advise help her if not why a lesson carefully children we have recalled the supplementary that is a pack with the sun the summary and the story entire story here the answer what did the physicians ask saida's mother to do to get here the physicians asked saida's mother to move to a place without sunlight and air what did they say to move to a place without sunlight and air did their advice help her no definitely no no their advice did not work if not why you have to answer that for the question why if not means then why so here we have given the answer as no their advice did not work it wasn't her health now look at the second question what did the specialist prescribe in addition to medicine that is what were the things were prescribed in addition to medicine by the specialist here the specialist prescribed sunlight and fresh air in addition to medicine that is a specialist prescribed sunlight and then fresh air in addition to the medicine along with the medicine that is a, the specialist has prescribed us that is a sunlight and fresh air the specialist prescribed sunlight and fresh air in addition to the medicine now look at the third question what did saida tell the sunrise to do that is she has commented something else to the sunrise and what is that saida asked the sunrise to come the next day with brighter and warmer sunlight that she ordered the sunrise to come by the next day to again by the next day with the brighter and warmer the how the sunlight should be it must be bright and warm so saida asked the sunrise to come the next day with the brighter and warmer sunlight now look at the next question children why were the sun rays came to go down to the earth the next day the sun rays were came to go down to the earth the next day that is the why what is the reason to keep their promise and also to help saida's mother recover from her illness there is a two things is there that is the why were the sun rays came to go down to the earth the next day why the sun rays has planned to go down by the next day that is to keep their promise to keep their promise and also to help the little girl saida's mother from her illness now look at the next lesson children that is a ninth lesson what happened to the reptiles this is our ninth supplementary children this story that is what happened to the reptiles says that each person has his own unique importance and role people in this world often fight and create disturbance in the name of a religion a village pompopati in the story developed a new and different world the rare people lived together happily in perfect harmony irrespective of any kind of differences this lesson is a story of a religious harmony depicted through reptiles who lived in the village of pambupatti and retold by an old man to a boy named prem who suffered religious rites in his village 
and while running to save his life, reached Pambupatti. Prem, the narrator of the story, was so scared of the right incident that he was not willing to go back to the place. An old man shared the story of Pambupatti to change his mind. The village Pambupatti was the land ruled and lived by reptiles alone. Makra was the crocodile who ruled the forest. He was the most powerful amongst all and was the biggest in size. One day, Makra held a meeting of the reptiles. Misusing his power, told the tortoise to leave the forest as they were stupid and slow. After a few months, he repeated the order for snakes to leave the forest. Gradually, he told every animal to leave the forest except crocodiles. No one could ever dare to go against his orders and question him. After some time, all the animals left. Consequently, that is, very wide things started happening in the forest. The forest was full of foul smell and the rats and insects started coming out. Seeing the plight of the jungle, other crocodiles made a decision to call back all the animals of the forest. All the animals came back and the forest was back to normal again. Hearing this, Prem changed his mind and thought of going back to his village and sharing all this with his people to help them have a better perspective of living together in harmony and to understand the unique role of each person in the society. Children, now let's practice the question answer of the supplementary. What happened to the reptiles? Look at the first question, children. In what way is Pambupatte different from any other village? Can you guess the answer, children? Yes. People of varied religions were living together in harmony. Yes, in this village, people of varied religions were living together. So, this is the answer. In what way the village is? It is a different from any other. So, it is different. How means it is the people of varied religions were living together in harmony. Now, look at the next question. Why is Prem determined not to return to his village? That is why the boy was determined no, that is not to return to his village. This boy, that is the Prem is determined not to return to his village because he has seen a lot of hurt and violent rights in his village. That is he has seen that the boy Prem has seen a lot of hatred and violent rights in his village where people not just fighting but were also killing each other. Here this is the place that where the people kill each other. Here the boy Prem is determined not to return to his village because he has seen, that is the boy has seen a lot of hurt and violent rights in his village where people were not just fighting but were also killing each other. Now look at the third question children. Why did Makaram dislike tortoises, snakes and lizards? Write a line about each. Here, I dislike tortoises because they were very slow and carried their homes within. He dislikes snakes because that is what is the reason means 
they wear slim and venomous and could kill anyone in anger with their spit he didn't like lizards because of their habit of changing color of their body now look at the fourth question children what were wrong when the tortoises snakes lizards left the forest listen children here there is a what went wrong when the tortoises snake and lizards left the forest these three animals that is their entire family they left the forest and what went wrong some incident has happened during the day what what was that there is a what went wrong when the tortoises snake and lizards left the forest every animal has its own role so whenever any kind of animals left there was imbalance when tortoises left the forest was filled with the smell of rotten fruits listen carefully children when snakes left the number of rats was increased which was disturbing for other animals as it ate their eggs when lizards left there was an increase in the number of frogs in and insects they caused disturbance by eating the baby crocodiles now look at the next question that is the fifth question why do you think prem wants to tell the story to the reptiles to the people of his village a lesson carefully children here there is the prem the boy little boy prem was impressed by the people of this village he found the year to the nurse ex was so he thought of sharing it with the people of his village so that he could inspire them to live together joyfully now look at the next question children there is a sixth question do you agree that it is difficult not to go along with someone who is very strong and powerful express your views frankly and clearly this is your uh, question for this question you have to write by your own children anyhow we shall just discuss a few points that is do you agree that it is difficult not to go along with someone who is very strong that is and the people who is very strong and powerful here you have to express your views listen carefully children it is true that is we have to agree that it is true that the common people are peace loving and weak they live in constant fear of the strong and powerful it is human nature to go with the strong to be on the safe side but the people also stand up against the bully when they are driven to the wall they take up arms and fight the enemy successfully now look at the seventh question children if you were a baby crocodile would you tell maka that he was wrong what would you say to convince him listen children this is a guess answer as a baby crocodile i have a privilege to oppose my parents boldly i would tell the elders that this world is a common property of all living creatures to convince my daddy that he is wrong i will give him a couple of reasons first it is the duty of the strong to protect the weak and not to harsh them secondly this earth is not the sole property of any one person or animal all are interdependent together they make this earth a place worth living children now look at the last lesson that is a strange wrestling match this is our 10th supplementary a strange wrestling match here that is a, this story a strange wrestling match it happens through a brave an open mind one can win over anything even ghost still one should avoid boasting 
This is what the story revolves. It revolves around a man who was caught up in trouble and had to face a ghost because of his boasting. Though in the end, he wins over the game. Now, let's have the recall of the story, A Strange Wrestling Match. Listen carefully children. Everyone believed that Vijay Singh, the famous wrestler, was just unbeatable. Boasting about big things was his weakness. Once, because of this habit of boasting, he was caught up. He told everyone that he was not afraid of ghosts. Rather, he wished to meet one ghost. Hearing this, someone advised him to visit hot or desert where ghosts roam freely. Vijay Singh was ready and walked miles to enter the desert. There, a ghost named Natwar appeared in front of him. To hide his fear, Vijay Singh insulted the ghost by calling him plain and stupid ghost. Though Vijay was scared, he wanted to win this game psychologically, so he expressed his wish to fight with the ghost to prove his strength. Vijay's words left the ghost speechless. He also told the ghost not to go by his appearance as appearance of the person are often deceptive. Seeing his strength and power, the ghost thought of defeating Vijay Singh by some other means. So, he invited him to his house to spend a night with him. Later, Vijay agreed to it. At night, the ghost tried to kill him by hitting. Fortunately, Vijay Singh was not on the bed and was saved. When in the morning, the ghost found him alone, he got scared of Vijay Singh and ran away from the place leaving behind all the wealth he had looted from the people. After that, no visitor hunted the place. Now let's learn the question answer of the supplementary A Strange Wrestling Match. Look at the first question children. How did Vijay Singh use the egg? How did he use the lump of salt? Look at the answer children that Vijay Singh challenged the ghost to seek a piece of rock. The ghost tried his best but could not crush the piece of rock. Vijay Singh took advantage of the darkness. He took out the egg from his pocket. Listen carefully children. That is the man, that is the Vijay Singh took the egg from his pocket. Taking the rock as well as the egg. He pressed the egg and claimed victory. By the next time, he picked up another piece of rock and gave it to the ghost to crush it. The ghost again tried his best to crush the stone but in vain. Meanwhile, the man Vijay Singh took out the lump of salt from his pocket and crushed it easily. This time too, he proved himself. Thus by using this egg and the salt, he successfully outwitted the ghost. Now look at the next question children. Why did Vijay Singh conclude that the ghost would not be a worthy opponent to him? Was he far in his judgment? Listen, here Vijay Singh claimed victory over the ghost. He gave the ghost a piece of rock on both the occasions. The ghost failed to crush them 
while the man that is a vijay singh made use of the salt and the egg successfully so by this way he proved that the ghost a witling in an unfair manner look at the next question children why did vijay singh ask the ghost to accompany him to town by the next day that is why vijay singh wanted to take the ghost to his town to impress his people that is to show his will power vijay singh wanted to take the ghost to his town to impress his people and then that man the vijay singh wanted to present the ghost that as his prisoner look at the word he wanted to present the ghost there in his village as his prisoner now look at the fourth question children what made the ghost believe vijay singh was dead that is the ghost thought that is the ghost thought that vijay singh was dead then vijay singh saw through the ghost plan he got out of the his bed and put a round pillow in his place the ghost struck the bolster hard with his mace or you can say as a heavy stick since he didn't hear any sound he took into his head that vijay singh was dead now look at the next question children vijay singh complained of insects in the cave what was he referring to and why here vijay singh complained of insects in the cave he was in fact referring to the ghost he compared the ghost to a hateful witling like an insect that is he compared the man vijay singh compared the ghost like an insect compared the ghost to a hateful like an insect look at the last question was it really a ghost who vijay singh befooled who do you think it was by analyzing the story we can identify the answer for this question the children the story of the trial of strength between a ghost and vijay singh cannot be true or believable nobody can see a ghost in human form it does not live in a house or a cave it does not collect wealth it does not panic or run away in fear the ghost in the story was only a docket who used to rob the rich and kill them so there is no ghost by this we can identify that there is no ghost and the ghost won't be live in a house or in a cave so children we have revised our supplementary from lesson 7 to lesson 10 for our upcoming early examination including the question and answer also so children go through the question answer in your class work notebook learn the summary and the question answer and then do your exam well thank you